Oh dear. Yeah. Beat the turd, you fool! Beat the turd! <laughs> It is Monday, December 7th, and today the snow has arrived in Flagstaff, and we have had our school canceled for the day. As you can see from the video, we have quite a bit of snow. <laughs> um, it's estimated that we're probably going to be having about 28 inches of snow fall by the end of the night, and that'll be what's being sticking on the ground. So, lots of snow, and we had finals and classes today canceled. I didn't have any finals today, so it didn't really affect me, but Dwayne had to do his final in the morning, and then John got his finals canceled, which is good because it's a speech class, and speech classes are just generally not fun in the first place. A uh, possibility that we might have cancellation the rest of the week as well, and I might actually have to wait a few days until I can get down to the valley, because the snow might be blocking us in to Flagstaff for a few days. So it should be very, very interesting to see how the rest of the week turns out. Last week I mentioned how I was going to be reading Oscar Wilde and then moving on to Neil Gaiman. I got bored with Oscar Wilde. Uh, the picture of Dorian Gray I found to be quite boring, so I sort of decided to stop reading it. And I moved on to Anansi Boys, which I'm almost done with, as you can see. I'm almost finished with this book. Uh, it's entertaining, as always, it's Neil Gaiman. I still like American Gods better. Uh, there's nothing much to say on that topic, because, well, I sort of talked about them last week. Otherwise, I'll be moving on to other books after that, which will be more Neil Gaiman, like Stardust, and then uh, Carl Sagan's son, Nick Sagan, writes books, and I'll probably be reading that, a book that I got of his not too long ago, uh, Eden Bourne in a few days. I don't have much else to speak about except for Science Talk. There's been a few things in astronomy that has reared their heads in the last week or so. Over the weekend, a team at Princeton University uh, took the first pictures of a stellar companion. Uh, not an actual, like, binary star system, but an actual star and then another object. They're not sure what the object is. It might be a large planet or it might be a brown dwarf, which we talked about last week. But yeah, so they have t taken a picture of a stellar companion, which is significant because we've never done that before, and that's a step in the right direction because we're hoping eventually to be able to take pictures of Earth-type planets. The pictures are only, like, you can see pricks of light, but... It's a step in the right direction. You can't see any details. You can't see what these things look like. They're just pricks of light reflecting light from the sun. But it's still interesting. Another piece of news in the astronomy section is that today the first public spaceship is going to be unveiled. Uh, which means that this thing eventually, um, it's developed by the same people who made Spaceship One, the first private group to be able to get into space. Not really space, but suborbital space. And the same group has decided that they're going to be building Spaceship Two, which is basically going to be a passenger private space plane. Um, they're unveiling it today, so keep an eye out on that, and I'll probably be updating next week on that topic. Uh, but they actually think it's not going to be just some paper thing that's actually going to be real, and actually they've built one. And they have a place in Nevada, uh, they call it a spaceport in Nevada, and they actually have a launching group place for this um, airplane or aircraft. Not really an aircraft, it's a spacecraft. But anyway, commercial space flight is beginning to get underway, which is a very good thing because hopefully once the commercial and private industries get involved, then we'll have a big explosion in space technology, sort of similar to how we had a, giant, a large explosion in aircraft technology. Because once we get the private sector in and once it actually becomes beneficial for people to try to sell and travel through space, then it means more space exploration opportunities, not only for dr driving down costs of space agencies like NASA, ESA, and the like, but also so private groups like 
colleges and universities can actually send their own spacecraft into orbit and send their own researchers up there to do their own work independent of the government, which would be nice, and it would drive down lots of costs for many different people. So hopefully this gets off the ground quite well. Um, I'll be keeping an eye out on it, so you guys will all know eventually. Otherwise, I don't have much else to talk about other than the fact the snow, of course. I guess um, I hear that it's cold in both Virginia, where Brian is, and Portland, where the rest of the five are. I'm almost done with school for this semester, finals this week, and then I'll be back down in the valley next week. So, without much else to say, I'm Angus Martin reminding you that laziness prevails, and I'll see you all for the rest of the week, and I'll be posting next week, of course.